Hi, uh, in this video we will review the default order settings in Microsoft Dynamics X 2012. In Microsoft Dynamics X 2012, user can set up the default order settings, for example site, warehouse and order quantity, for sales order, purchase order and for inventory, where inventory includes the production order and inventory journals. In this demonstration, we will consider the default inventory settings as default production order settings to simplify the explanation. Notice that default order settings are always set up per product. User can set up maximum order quantity, minimum order quantity, standard order quantity and order quantity multiple for sales, purchase, production order and inventory journals. This can be set up for a particular site warehouse combination or it can be set up independent of site. For example, uh, we do not accept the sales order less than 100 pieces of bicycle because that is not the cost effective for a company to sell due to transportation cost. Or we may not accept the purchase order more than 5000 pieces of bicycle at a time because our warehouse does not have capacity to haul this much of inventory. Let us first understand the company structure of RS Bicycle Trading Company. It has two subsidiaries, one in Europe and another in USA. European subsidiary has two sites, one in Berlin and another in Rome. USA subsidiary has only one site in New York. Site refers to the geographical location where company is operating in. Company may consist of child companies. In this example, RS Bicycle Trading Company consists of European subsidiary and USA subsidiary and child company consists of sites. For example, European subsidiary consists of Berlin and Rome, two sites, one in Germany and Italy. For a particular product, user can set up the default order settings independent of sites, which will be applicable to all warehouse and sites, or it can be site and warehouse specific as well. For example, there can be a common default order settings for both these sites, Berlin and Rome in European subsidiary. Alternatively, user can set up the default order settings for a particular site and warehouse, or can override the common default order settings for a particular site. For example, for Berlin and Rome, there can be a different default order settings. Uh, we are going to cover a scenario where we sell the goods from a Berlin site and we purchase the goods at Rome site. For USA subsidiary, we sell and purchase from the common site New York. So let's say for Berlin site, the minimum sales quantity is 100 pieces, standard sales order quantity is 2000 pieces. Standard order quantity means generally we receive the order in 2000 pieces. Then for Rome site maximum purchase quantity is 8000 because of the warehouse capacity and minimum purchase quantity we need to purchase is 200. For New York site sales quantity multiple will be 50 that means uh, we always receive the order in multiple of 50. So order for 120 pieces will be reset to 150 and standard purchase order quantity is 500. Let us review the product demonstration for this. Uh, hi. First we will set up the default order settings for a USA subsidiary. Make sure that you are into a USA based subsidiary. Click on this legal entity icon and select the consul Contessa Consulting USA. For USA subsidiary we have a common default order settings that would be independent of sites. And for European subsidiary we will set up the site specific default order settings. In order to access the default order settings for a particular product first locate the product click on product information management go to release product click on the product for which we want to set up a default order setting so that is uh, bicycle 002 then from uh, manage inventory action menu we have two options under the order settings group default order settings and site specific order settings for european subsidiary we will use site specific default order settings but for now we will use default order settings which would be independent of sites click on this under the general tab we have a uh, three field groups purchase site inventory site and sales sites so let's say on, we have only one site that is new york so we can set it default for purchase inventory and sales this means that Generally, we sell from this site, we purchase at this site, and we generally produce the item at this site. Then come to a sales order tab. We always accept the order in a multiple of 50. So, set the 50 here. So, let's say for example, if you received an order for 120, system would ask 
to get it rounded to 150 because 150 is in multiple of 50 then for purchase order generally we purchase in the batch of 500 pieces so set it to 500 as a standard quantity as soon as purchase order is created the 500 will be defaulted so for sales we always receive the order in multiple of 50 and for purchase we generally purchase in the lot of 500 pieces so let us uh, quickly cross verify as soon as we create a sales order it should ask for a multiple so let's try to create a sales order then go to account receivable sales order we have already a customer selected so let's try to give a product here so that's the bicycle 002 yes As you can see the 50 has got defaulted because at least it should be in a multiple of 50. Let us fill up other unnecessary information. Uh, we select the configuration because product is sold in a different size and color. Yep. And then save the sales line. And let's try to change the order quantity. 120. As soon as user tries to save it, system says multiple of 50 only. So quantity here is 120, but rounded it should be rounded to 150. We have an option whether to accept rounded quantity or not. So let's say yes. It would automatically reset it to 150. And let's try to create a purchase order then. From accounts payable module, click create a new purchase order. Select the uh, any particular account. Let's say. Make sure that. Uh, Stite and warehouse are not get defaulted. If there are any vendor specific settings, it would get defaulted here. Then click on bicycle, and uh, as you can see, the 500 is defaulted because standard order quantity is 500. So, since we have the default order settings, will get defaulted on a purchase order and sales order. So, using the default order settings, user can save some time. Now let's set up the default order settings for European subsidiary. Make sure that you are into a European subsidiary. Click on CE. Look at the product first. From product information management, release product. Click on the product for which you want to set up a default site specific order settings, basically. Then under the manage inventory, action manual, we have two options default order settings and site specific order settings. You may also set up a default order settings and uh, override it for a particular site. So for in our case, we have a different default order settings for Berlin and Rome sites. So we go to sites or site specific order settings here. And then set up a first Berlin site. And uh, for Berlin site, we may select the default warehouse. So we have a uh, only one warehouse for now. So that is a uh, default for sales and purchase and inventory. Then for Berlin site, we do not accept the sales order less than of 100 pieces. So click on override here. We want to override the default order settings and make the minimum order quantity as 100. So then system would warn the user if there is an order less than the 100 pieces. And we generally receive the order from a customer in the batch of 2000 pieces. So set the standard order quantity as 2000 and for Rome site create, create a new record and select the ROM here again we have only one warehouse for ROM so set, get it defaulted and uh, uh, this will get defaulted on a sales and purchase line then for ROM site uh, the maximum what we purchase from a vendor at a time is 8000 pieces so set the 8000 as the maximum order quantity for purchase quantity and the minimum purchase quantity is 200 so minimum we have to purchase at least 200 pieces of bicycle from a particular vendor these settings are only applicable for a rom site so then let's try to create a sales order for berlin site and rom site and let's cross verify go to a sales order create a new sales order and under the general if there are any customer specific site and warehouse are set up, it will get defaulted here, which you can clear before you create a sales order line. Select the item and you see the 100 got defaulted because the minimum sales quantity is 100. The thing is we haven't yet selected a site and still it got defaulted. That is because 
if we review the default order settings these are the default order settings and uh, here we have a 100 has already been set up so if you remove this and uh, you may remove the any purchase order settings as well yeah so the thing we have set up now we may set up the default sell site purchase site or inventory site so for now let's say we always sell from a berlin site but we always purchase from a rom site this is optional if you do not set up the sales order line will be created with the blank site which user can enter directly there but for now we will set it sell site berlin as a default sell site and rom as a default purchase site now let's try creating a new sales order and verify the default order settings go to account receivable all sales order create a new sales order select the customer and then click ok enter the item we can see that as soon as we enter the item the 2000 quantities got defaulted because this is a standard sales order quantity we had set up and minimum order quantity is 100 so if we try to set give quantity lesser than 100 it would immediately trigger saying that minimum quantity is 100 but what you entered here is 99 whether we would like to accept the minimum quantity or uh, would like to continue with the quantity you have entered we will reset it to minimum quantity let us also quickly verify the default purchase order settings for a roam site so we go to accounts label purchase order and then create a new purchase order let me select the vendor yeah and here we can create the item basic 02 we can see that a roam site was got defaulted to select the combination so we can also see the warehouse got defaulted because we already have a site specific settings which points to this warehouse for a purchase order and we can see that 200 is uh, defaulted here because the minimum purchase quantity for a ROM site is 200 and if we try to do more than 8000 that is our maximum order quantity then it would immediately trigger that the greatest quantity what you can order purchase is 8000 you would still it's just a warning you may choose to continue with the quantity which you have ordered so we will reset it to maximum order quantity and it would reset it to 8000 so summarizing uh, we have a we can set up a default order settings for a product go to a release product form we have under the manage inventory we have two options default order settings which is common across the site here we can set up the default purchase site sell site and inventory site uh, so as soon as we create a sales or purchase order this site would get defaulted here and if you go to a relevant tab sales order here we can set up the default order quantity which would be independent of sites and uh, we also have some extra settings which we will cover in a different video series we will just review the quantity order settings and uh, whatever default order settings we have set up here we can also override it for a particular site so when we go to site specific order settings we may override for specific site we can also give a default warehouse so as soon as we create a sales order line on selecting this particular site the berlin main warehouse will get defaulted there so this would save the time for the user and uh, you may choose to override for a specific site you may override here the default order settings for a particular site Just click on override and then you can give here whatever settings you would like to give and for a sales order also you can override the same so uh, so the primary use of default order settings is to uh, save the user's time so for example if we have 80% uh, of our order generally coming in a uh, 2000 pieces then we can set the standard order quantity as 2000 because this is our standard order quantity which we generally receive the order for and uh, we have also reviewed the use of multiple uh, multiple sets the quantity to a multiple of this value whatever given here minimum order quantity and maximum order quantity